The second law of money. Wealthy people don't own much. Wealthy people don't own much? Hey, come again. This just about summed up my confusion when I first heard this concept from my mentor. The idea that the rich are ownerless didn't make much sense to me back then, but I soon came to realize that it's one of the most important concepts in the game of wealth creation. Important enough from the second law of money. Being financially free does not mean that you personally own a lot of assets. In actual fact, it means the complete opposite. Wealthy individuals own very little, if anything, in their own names. They use the protection of a company or a corporation. As a result, wealth creators generally own very little in their own personal names. Their corporations are the true owners of their income-generating assets, and hence wealth. So what exactly is a corporation or company? It's merely a legal document registered with the government. Anybody can establish a company. That's the beauty of the process. No physical thing has to be established to start a company. All you have to do is complete the paperwork. Okay, why even go through the hassle of filing a few papers with the authorities? A company makes playing the wealth creation game significantly easier. A person can get so much further in a corporate setting than he or she could do as an individual. It's the only real way to play the game. It's how wealthy people have been doing it for hundreds of years. There are two major reasons why a corporation is used. Tax advantages. As an employee, first you pay the government and then you live on what is left. And the more promotions you get or the harder you work, the more the government gets. Tax is a major expense and should be minimized legally as far as possible. This is where a company comes in. Firstly, earnings are taxed last, which means the government only receives their share of your income last. You benefit by living on pre-tax dollars. Secondly, companies in South Africa are taxed at a rate of 28%. This will benefit you as an individual if your personal tax rate is higher than 28%. Conducting business in a company at a lower tax rate minimizes your tax expense, which means you have more resources to spend on income generating assets. Secondly, protection. The second major advantage offered by a corporation is protection from creditors and lawsuits. Let's face it, we live in a world where some individuals would do anything to make a quick buck at the expense of wealthy people. The fact is everybody wants a piece of the action, and one of your jobs as a wealth creator is to protect your assets against unlawful claims. The best way to do this is within a separate legal entity or company. In your personal name, you own and control everything. Legally, your name acts as a direct route to your assets and wealth. In a company, you own nothing but control everything. This is the ultimate form of protection. Also, depending on how you structure your company, corporations can be used to add multiple layers of protection around your assets. In summary, corporations are not only there for wealthy people to make use of, but rather for anybody who wants to own and protect their income generating assets. Are you ready for financial wealth? If so, visit our website at waytowealthpro.com for your free instant access to your six golden rules of building wealth.